All right, uh, let's look at the uh, uh, 3D space. All right, so just like XY plane, uh, we just need to add another dimension so that uh, we have three dimensions. All right, so we have uh, X axis and a Y axis. And then we just added the uh, Z axis uh, perp perpendicular to both of them. All right. So uh, we can uh, locate a point in three dimensional space using um, um, X, Y, Z coordinates. All right. So uh, let's do that. All right. So you have, uh, let's say you have a point in space, point P. And the way to find the, uh, its coordinate would be this. All right, you're going to you're going to project it down to the this is called the x y plane. So you have uh, x y plane here. All right, then uh, treat that point. So you have a point on the x y plane. All right, then uh, you can just uh, do exactly the same thing as x y plane. So to find the x coordinate, you go perpendicularly to um, to the x-axis, and I get a reading from there. Let's just say the the reading on the x-axis uh, happens to be a. All right? Then uh, you can go perpendicularly to the y-axis, and then you get a reading. All right? So you have a get a reading here. Uh, so let's say this is b. All right? Then you can uh, draw a box uh, basically. So you can just go perpendicularly to uh, xz plane, right? So you have that, right? Then you can just do perpendicular to yz plane. So you have, you draw the picture like that, right? Then you have, you can draw a box, right? So you can see that the height uh, of this point sort of, so here, uh, I'm gonna say, I have to extend the z-axis a little bit. So the here reading is say c. All right. So you can see that the x coordinate is uh, a and a y coordinate is b and the z coordinate is c. So we can express the location of the point by doing this. All right. Before we have only two dimensions, so we just need a pair of numbers. Uh, we're going to need the three numbers. So we're going to do uh, a comma b comma c. Right. And first number is the x co coordinate. Then second number is the y coordinate. Third number is the z coordinate. All right. So if you look at the equation, uh, so let's look at the, some simple equation. Uh, z equals zero. All right. So this is the equation for the x y plane. You can see that the height is zero, so you just get the x y plane. So this guy is simply uh, x y plane. And how about the y equals zero? So y value is zero, so you end up with a xz plane. So you have a xz plane, All right? And if x is zero, then you can see that they have a yz plane. All right? Now uh, we have a basics of uh, a three-dimensional a three-dimensional coordinate system. Uh, we can do a, a midpoint and the distance formula. Right? Midpoint uh, it's defined exactly the same way. You just have a third coordinate. So if you want to find the midpoint between P1, which uh, whose coordinates are x1 comma y1 comma z1, and the P2. Uh, x2 comma y2 comma z2. Right? If you want to find the midpoint, all you have to do is take the average between two x coordinates. So you just add them up, divide by two, and the y1 plus y2 divide by two. Then you have a z1 plus z2 divide by two. All right, so that's the midpoint. And the distance formula is the same way. You remember that you have a square root. And uh, you just take the difference between the coordinates. So you have uh, x squared, uh, x2 minus x1 squared. 
and you do a, a y2 minus y1 squared. All right, so that would be the distance formula for a two-dimensional space. But now we have uh, z2 minus z1 squared. All right, so that's the distance formula. So uh, even though we are adding another dimension, the midpoint formula and the distance formula are very, very similar to the ones uh, in two-dimensional space. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.